Welcome back to Minecraft, part 10. Uh, that's an anniversary, isn't it? Welcome to the 10th anniversary of Minecraft. That's exciting. This is the first game. Oh, no, it's not. I wish I was about to say this is the first game I played that I've reached 10 episodes on, but it's not. Um, we actually got 11 episodes, a man vs. machine. So that's a shame. I mean, it's not really. Man vs. Machine is super fun, so I'm, I've enjoyed getting up to 10 on, or 11 on that one, but... It's not the same. It's not the same. You know, Minecraft is classic. You want to have your anniversaries, right? But welcome to the 10th anniversary of Minecraft. This is the... What what anniversary is this? This is the glass anniversary? I think it's a little too early for glass. Maybe. No, silver's 25th. Gold is 50th. Is that right? Uh, I, everyone that's watching this is probably 8 years old or one of my friends. And I know neither of the people in those demographics are going to know the answer to that question. So I'm going to stop asking that straight away. Um, so... Um, what we're doing right now, we're digging out a little bit of a basic sugarcane farm. Uh, we just need to make it level with the rest of the farms that we have. So uh, I think we want to... Oh, it's almost getting night, though, which is a shame. Because I kind of want to just work. I want to keep grinding. Uh, but, you know, not all grinds were meant to be. Let's uh, knock this out. Actually, let's head back. I'm getting scared. It's getting dark, and I don't like it when it's dark. It's a lot of scary monsters. But this is fine. Um big ongoing things we're doing we need to get more berries we're only at 27 we want to get a stack right but we got a, a we got a basic berry farm that's cooking up for us um another thing we want to do is uh create bone meal this is a large ongoing thing it's not related to our current project but we need a lot of bone meal and um i bet we could make that out of saplings too actually Ooh, hang on i'm getting a call from a robot so i'm gonna decline that I'm getting a robo call, folks. How do you feel about that? That's exciting. Um, pro tip for robo calls, actually. Did you know that most robo calls try and trick you into thinking it's a local uh, area number? So how do they do that? Well, for me, for example, I live in Colorado Springs. Our area number is 719. But guess what? In another city, in Pueblo, the area number is also 719. And guess what? I think, is it Boulder? It's somewhere around Denver. There's another place with an area code 719 there are three cities in this state with the area code 719 that's not unusual you'll find that for um there you can have the same area code among different cities so how do they trick you well each area code corresponds to specific numbers so for example if your number is 719866 then that number can only happen in Colorado Springs, right? You can't get 866 in Pueblo. You can't get 866 in Boulder. You can only get 866 in the Springs. So the way they do it is the robots will find your phone number. What am I doing here? I'm putting that... Oh, I'm getting saplings, right? Because I don't think I need that many. Um, the robots will actually um, find your number. So let's say your number is 719-866, blah, 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 right? They will take that number... And they will copy the first three. So if you see that you're getting a call from your same area code, 719, and the first three numbers of the uh, of the number are the same as yours, 866, then you know it's a robot. Because they're trying to say, hey, not only is this in your state, but it's also from your city. This is a local call. It's important. Pick it up. Give me money, right? So, so you don't pick it up. If you ever see the same area code and the same first three numbers don't pick it up it's a robot all right so that's pro tips with emeralds you're welcome a fuck ton that saves me i have never and this is true i have not picked up a robocall in literally about two years now because that i get a call daily from robocallers daily but believe you me that trick is surefire oh yeah baby oh yeah this is the secret that trick is surefire do you get a level every time? Oh, no, you don't. I just got really good RNG there, I think. The, the level seems to be higher for saplings than it is for other things. Logically, right? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's four. And hell yeah, because I can chop this shit down now. Super hell yeah. Look at that. Look at that timing on that. It's very convenient, actually. So now we can make this level with the rest of the world. And I don't lose any progress on my bone meal. That's splendid that's splendid so this four bone meal will be enough for our first um gray uh section of the um greenhouse so that's great news actually because so that's what we were kind of hoping for so let's go ahead and finish this uh leveling off job that we were working on here for our sugar cane farm that's really exciting stuff definitely want to get that underway huh let's keep going okay so 
what we're going to do here is a greenhouse, I think similar in design to this one. Uh, but the roof is going to be a little bit different. So the roof on this one, we said we we're going to make like a triangle, right? We're going to slope it. On this one, I saw other greenhouse designs with the roof like um, circular, like a semicircle. So I think that's what we want to do for our sugarcane farm. That's going to look real, real splendid. It's going to be great. You're all going to love it. Uh, we're ready to harvest a little bit. And I do like keeping on top of this because we need a lot of bone meal for this project. So, um, you know me, I'm just going to keep, uh, keep popping this in. I'm going to keep making this little journey over here. Even if I have to interrupt my current work, because this is something that is time-based. So we have to make sure it's always going. Um, yeah, let's keep our wheat here. And put our seeds in. There we go. It's nice. All right, so that's done. So we're going to go in and work on this section here. Let's, uh, let's, let's just do this. Let's just split it off from the rest of the shit here. There we go. And, uh, yeah, we'll just level this out. You're probably wondering, hey, Emerald. Hey, this is episode 10. Why are you still using stone tools? And I'm going to tell you. Look. All right. What did I say in episode one? What did I say in episode one? This is laid back. This is chill, right? This is fun. This is a laid back, no rush. We're having a good time. Minecraft world. Who, who has a good time mining, right? It's a, it's, it's a grind. It's a slog. You have to do it, but you don't want to do it, right? And that's the world we live in. What I want to do with my life right now, I want to build a goddamn greenhouse, okay? This is what I want to do. We'll go mining soon. And I don't think we'll go mining. I think we'll go caving. Um, but for the time being, look, a guy's got a guy's got to build, you know? This is the call of the wild. I got to do this. This is my world, you know? This is what I want to do. You're probably wondering, hey, Emerald. Hey, it's episode 10. Good for you. You come a long way, kid. We're all rooting for you. Why don't you have a goddamn house? Look. I want to build a greenhouse, okay? Look, I know you can build with a house. But you can't make a house out of glass. That's crazy talk. That's crazy talk. You can't do that. that you, they don't want you to do that. They don't let you do it, right? You can't do it. I want to build a house. I want to build a good-looking house. I want to build a nice house. I don't want to build a, a, a wood house. But I don't want to build a house right now. I want to build a greenhouse. This is what we're doing. Hell yeah. Woo, we're raking the shit in now. This is great. I love this. So, that, that you know, that's the world we live in right now. I need to get a water bucket. Um, sugar cane, we don't need a lot of, honestly. Oh, we can totally break this now, by the way. Let's see how many berries it gives us. We, it turns out we didn't need this at all, but, you know, it's a precaution. It's a precaution. That's all I need. It's a precaution. Okay. <laughs> that's so weird. I, like, I, like, breathed in and I, like, sighed hard and it hurt okay so charcoal we're gonna put in there charcoal we're gonna put in there okay i did it again i'm like breathing weird today for some reason all right um sugar cane we want that uh bucket we want that dirt we want that we're gonna keep all this okay let's go get some uh water is this possible can i steal it from a waterlogged block and will it still be waterlogged this is the question Oh, yeah, I can. All right. Let's, uh, so greenhouse is going to be here, right? Um, let's line it out. Let's line it out. That's going to be a good idea. Let's do that. Um, how many do we want in a row? Here we had 12. We don't need that much. Um, let's make one, two, three, one, one. Let's just, let's only do two rows, actually. So if we're going to do two rows, we need a little more. Let's do 12 again. So, if we want to do that, we're going to need... Let's just copy this over here. It's going to be obnoxious because of this ravine, but, you know. You guys got to do what a guy's got to do, right? So, let's put this... Let's make this one, two, three, four, five, and wall here. And we'll come all the way over and copy our design. Um, Actually, do we want to... Mm, no, I think we should put it in the ground, so... That's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Um, I was I was considering if we should. Uh, actually, this is a really good idea. I should put some. Hmm. Uh, I might have. I might want to rethink how I do this actually, because I can waterlog trapdoors vertically to, or horizontally. So this is a waterlogged vertically trapdoor, but I can also waterlog a trapdoor like this, and you can walk on it, and it's still water, right? So that might actually not be a bad idea for making the floor of this place. 
can make some nice little trap door flooring. And we can make it out of oak too. And I think that would be kind of cool to see the water under you. I think that would be a neat little thing. So let's do that. So if we're going to do that, then we can do one, two, three. That's not going to look good. We can do sugarcane floor, sugarcane, sugarcane floor, sugarcane. So we can do, oh, uh, we can do the same thing. And wall, right? Floor, sugar, sugar, cake, floor, sugar, cake. Oh, yeah. So we'll do the same thing. We still need this. But that gives us four rows. So we can half this down to six, I think. I think that that would be fine. So let's do that. And this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's fine. We don't need that much sugar cane. We only need it for the enchanting table, really. And the real problem with the enchanting table is the leather, not the sugar cane. So that is totally fine fine with me let's go ahead and fill this out that is enough for the sugar cane right one two three four five six so we need another um wall right here i think would look fine um did i already make the wall one two three four five six i did not wall will go here perfect this is already a wall so we'll build a wall like this and we'll build a little entrance way running right into the sugar cane right um, so if we want to do this, we're going to need our trapdoor straight away, actually. Um, and I don't think I have a lot of wood, considering that I turned nearly all of it into charcoal, which is the circle of life. It's what's got to happen, right? It's going to happen. It's, you know, it's what we got to do when we're low on fuel. Uh, but that does mean that we need a little bit more wood. And I did say we would leave this and then come back in a future episode to see where the wood is. And wouldn't you know it? I think all that's going to decay has already decayed. Um, oh, shit, it is getting late. I thought that was just my imagination. So we'll we'll chop that down. We might get... We won't get much wood from that, though. We'll get a little bit of wood from that. And then uh, we can continue from there. And uh, we'll uh, make some oak trapdoors. I think will look really snazzy here. That's a good look. Um, I don't think birch trapdoors look very good. And I like the oak because you can see through it. So um, spruce isn't going to be an option. I, neither would birch at that rate. But I really don't like birch trapdoors. I think those are some of the grossest looking ones. So let's try and find... Oh, well, here's one. I'm going to die if I break this. Oh, no, there's one under it. Okay. So we got to go on a hunt to find all the little hidden uh, wood blocks in this tree. And uh, we'll find it eventually. It, it's got to be in here somewhere, right? Ah, uh, here's one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah. This is a, this is a fucking money pit right there. All right. Let's keep going. Every wood block we find here is another one we don't need to find later. Let's get that as well. And that would look fantastic. Um, this is great. I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this Minecraft series. This has been a treat. It's been a real pleasure. Um, it's been... It's just been wonderful. It's been so relaxing. So peaceful. I've never really just sat back and built you know sometimes sometimes the world just calls you you know the world just tells you hey don't worry you don't need to be in a rush you know life's busy you have traffic life sucks it's time to sit back and it's time to build a beautiful loving little greenhouse and i'm gonna say to you life life god damn it life you're right you're, you're right. You're telling me I gotta build a greenhouse? I gotta build a greenhouse. I'm listening to you. It's, I've ignored you for too long. Tell me what to do. And it just comes to you, you know? It's beautiful. Um, so we should have enough oak here. Uh, I don't know how much we need, actually. We should do some mathematics on this. So if we have six um, sugar cane, that's only in... Uh, yeah, so we'll need six water total, 12 for the sides... And then we'll need another two for the front and back, I think. So that would be 12 plus 4, which is 16. 16 divided by 2 is going to be 8. 8 um, divided, or 8 times 6 is 48. Divided by 4 is 12 oak logs. Let's see if my math works out on that. 1, 2, 3, 4. Put that away. We got 12 oak logs. We're going to turn all of these into some beautiful trapdoors. Look at that. Fantastic trapdoors. I love it. It's look They look so good. Wonderful trapdoors. So um, let's go ahead and install some of these trapdoors here. And we'll see how they look. So I want to put them like this in kind of a ring around the area. 
I think that would look totally fine. I think that looks wonderful. That looks great. Let's put in our our water bucket. That's gonna look really good too. It's beautiful over here. Let's um let's grab another bucket of water. Let's start filling this in the whole way out, right? Because you can't waterlog a a partially filled block. You gotta waterlog a source, right? So let's do that. It's a shame because I like the sound of running water. And that would add a really nice zen to this area. But the zen will come. We don't have to worry about it. So that's done. Um, let's go ahead and put in our trap doors here. And this looks great. This looks splendid. I love this project. This is a fun world. I really enjoyed this. All right. And that's in. Let's put in some sugar cane. And uh, the rest is history, isn't it? There we go. That's fantastic. I love this place. All right. So, uh, that's done. Um, that will do it for this episode as well. We're running a little bit over. But it's a good kind of over, right? This was fun to make this together. I really enjoyed making this. This is fantastic. Um, our berry farm. A berry farm is fantastic. Sugarcane farm is fantastic. Crop farm. It's not fantastic right now. But believe me, it's going to look fantastic. It's going to look awesome when we're done with it. We're going to get more trapdoors. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let's uh, let's go ahead and cut this. And we'll, we'll see you next time when we're ready to continue this world. Mm -hmm.